let's rewire together our ability to receive. Yeah, to receive more and more and more of all the good things that you are wanting, money, love, calmness, health, vitality. We need to rewire what's been happening between our ears. And it's easy to do, but indeed it's very easy not to do. In this video, I'm going to give you eight easy, tiny habits, deceivingly easy, but mighty when repeated for a long time. Ready? Number one is do not return a compliment immediately. When your husband tells you, I love you, don't go back and say, I love you too. When your friend tells you, your hair looks beautiful, don't reply immediately, you're sweet. Anybody who gives you a compliment, give them the gift of receiving that compliment. Open your ears, open your heart, open your mind and welcoming it. Create a pause, breathing in, breathe this love in, let it in, let it into your lungs, let it into your heart. Welcome what life is giving you. And as you feel it and as you integrate that your hair looks beautiful today, that you are loved, you will be inspired to reply in a way that will make that other person feel the gratitude. Then you can say, I love you too. Or you can say, thank you. I appreciate so much that you tell me this. You don't need to say that they do if you don't believe that. But uh, you can really give gratitude with honesty, with deep love to them. Number one, do not return a compliment automatically. Do it mindfully. Number two, create a mantra that you sing every single day. Which one do you like? I'm getting better and better and better. Life is beautiful and it's getting better. I'm so grateful, yet curious. Thanks God for what is and for what's coming. Pick yours, make one that moves you and repeat it all the time. Create art with it, put it in the background of your computer, put it in your mobile phone. You know, create that mantra in a way that moves you, that excites you, that ooh, puts you in the receiving mode. Number three, make your life a continuous rampage of appreciation. When I wash the dishes, I'm so grateful to my dishwasher. Dishwasher, I am so grateful to you. People who created the water system in this city, thank you so much for bringing water to my house. People who created detergents, thank you so much. Family who created dirty dishes, thank you so much for the lovely dinner. And I just continue in my rampage of appreciation. When I'm doing my accounting, I'm thinking, thank you so much for the people who designed this software. Thank you for all the wise kids that created the internet. Thank you for the customers that gave me these invoices. Thank you for the suppliers that gave me such services. And I just continue this rampage of appreciation. Whatever I'm doing, if it is business, if it's private, if it is as a mom or just simply as a human being walking down the, uh, uh, the street and seeing a beautiful tree. Just thank you all the time. When you follow this process of being grateful for everything that happens in your life, you will see more of it. Because suddenly miracles are just going to start happening to you. 
And in fact, this is what brings me to number four. That is to notice that miracles are happening in your life. As I've been telling you, I have been recently in Mexico and I was on the bus with my sister and I was telling her my white shoes had some scratches and uh, I really wanted to buy. I know that there is this kind of ink that is white that they sell everywhere in Mexico, everywhere. But I didn't see it until that moment. Uh, I really wanted to buy that ink. We step off the bus and Miracle, there was a man selling this kind of ink for shoes. Wow, I love that miracle, so visible. But there are so many daily from that piece of cheese that you forgot that was in the fridge, from your son hugging you like uh, he's never hugged you before, or on that uh, uh colleague recently, I uh, haven't been less and less active in LinkedIn, and a colleague sent me a message, hey, Blanca, we have been missing you in LinkedIn. Where are you? Well, I'm here in YouTube. <laughs> That's a little miracle. Everything that let you see that you are getting the love, the money, the appreciation, the vitality in your life, as you were dreaming of, are confirmations from the universe from God that you are becoming that version of yourself that you are wanting to become, that you are receiving the blessings. Confirmation. Next habit. To rewire your brain, you can do it connecting to your body. And one of the favorite my favorite ways to connect with my body is breathing. Why is it so fantastic? Because it's easy. It's something that you can do in the queue at an airport. That's something that you can do while you are breastfeeding. That's something that you can do before you go to bed. You can control your breath whenever you decide to do it. A very simple way of coming back to your body is the square breathing. Square because it's exactly in four sizes, exactly the same. The idea is you breathe in, count it to four, keeping the breath for four seconds, exhaling for four seconds, and keeping the empty lungs for four seconds. What is so fantastic about that way of breathing is that there is no other way but putting attention to your lungs. It forces you to be in the present moment. It takes you away from the drama of reality and uh, whatever was worrying you and brings you back into being grounded. You can do any other breathing. Another one that I love a lot is to extend the breathing in and make even a competition with myself to breathe as long as possible and to exhale again in a very long stretch. And that brings me to calmness and peace. Breathe. Just by paying attention to breathing, even if it is just observing. You see, I have given you three ways. The square one, the long one, and the just paying attention without changing the pattern. Just by doing that, you come back to your body and you become more mindful, present in the here and now. And you know what happens in the here and now? That's infinity. That is the wealth, the infinite wealth of everything there is because you connect with oneness. You have all the diamonds of the world. You have all the love of the world, all the friends, all the community, all the vitality. You are alive. And all the worries, all the sorrows. So breathe. Next. In the same realm of mindfulness and breathing is the body scan. And as its name says, is basically to scan your body, just like a scanner. And you start from the crown of your head 
and start paying attention going down and down and down as you go all the way until your toes. And what is really fantastic about this is that again, you get in the here and now. And by being in the here and now, you identify, oh my God, I have a body. Isn't that wonderful? I have a heart, I have a brain, I have kidneys, I, I'm, I'm here. Even if you are ill or hungry or there is some affliction, coming back to the here and now makes you feel connected to everything that is, to the infinite of the universe. And then you can let, enter into a rampage of appreciation really quickly. Thank you very much for my lungs, for the air that breathes, for the flowers that come. And then, then you get into infinite wealth and open to receive more body scan. Next, exercise, dance. Particularly in the most feminine way that you can move your body the best. Dancing, walking, swimming. But as you move your body, the wisdom of your body will start talking to your limited wisdom of your mind. You are going to get appreciation of the here and now, inspiration for what you could be doing, calmness and forgiveness for anything that happened in the past. Because being here in the movement will allow you to welcome so much more than you can ever imagine, more than you dream. Powerful medicine. Finally, if you happen to compare what you have or who you are with somebody else, do not get hooked. Free yourself from judgment of them as bad people for having or being that, or you as less than, but seeing it as inspiration. This is where you will like to go. This is who you will like to become. You are wanting more well-being. You are wanting more professionalism. You are wanting more consistency. You are wanting more, you know, whatever is what you are wanting. See it as guidance. If you would like to dive deeper on the subject of comparison, I created a video specific on that. To leverage your to leverage the power and emotion of comparison for your benefit, that instead of bringing you down, lifts you up and guides you towards opening up a new reality for you. I'm linking the video right here. Have a wonderful day.